morning we're in Tortola, the British Virgin Islands. This, as every place else, got whacked by the hurricane. And you can't tell now. Eastern side of Tortola. There you have Lou. That's Guana Island we have there. That's Guana Island we're looking at there. Guana Island. And the beach we're looking at to the front. It's a public beach we have there. We have no private beach here. Guana Island. Little Kamala. All the way out to Virgin Garda, straight out the farthest one, that's Virgin Garda. Bell view, beautiful view, and that it is. He's here to see if he can sell some snow cones. People are looking at this beautiful view. And there you have your vessel right there in Rhode Island. On the outside, we have the Sir Francis Drake Channel. And that channel is going to take you all the way down to the U.S. Virgin Islands, straight on to Puerto Rico. So, so a has a measurement of 24 square miles and a population of approximately, approximately 23,000 people. Fortuna also has a high point of 1,780 feet above sea level. And this point lies in the midst of the national park we have at Sage Mountain. The Sage Mountain National Park was donated to the government. 1964. That's Guana Island you're still looking at over to your left there. To your right, that's Guana Island you're still looking at there. Coming up onto our left, this is where we have the picture wall. There you have the little female and fowls, the little chicks, and that's their daily. They do that in the morning before going on to their daily chores. So there you have the little female and fowls, the little chicks. You have the guys enjoying themselves on their donkey. Donkeys, mules, and horses used to be the main transportation for the territory many years gone by. They have them back in Tanya land. They are preparing the land to do their planting. So they have the farmers doing their thing, while the lady will cook the food home and bring it out so they can have their meal. Dipping day, those are the days when the farmers will have their cattle, have them wash, bring them off ticks and other insects. Watering cattle, below that surface, it's a well. So they'll tie the bucket to the end of the rope and pour the water from the well so the cattle can have their drink. Here we have the baking bang bang. Bang bang is made from cassava. You can say cassava bread or you can say bami. Say bami or cassava bread, that's the same as bang bang we have there. Go to the market, there we have the ladies taking their fruit basket on their head just to protect their fruits, while the donkey will take the heavy load out to the market. We have the oven for bread, and those oven are made of brick, mud, and stone. So there you have the oven, that's the oven right there. The farmers say their cane have a mill so they can have the juice for the cane run. So that's what the mill is like, the mules, the donkeys, they operate the mill. After getting the juice, this is where they store it in the wooden barrel until it's time ready for the cane run. So, we have so there you have them heading back home after all of the cash so they could feed their family. Of the horse, just hold on to the tail and they pull you off. Sit, relax, enjoy themselves until it's bedtime, they retire to bed. So there you have them relaxing themselves, playing some music until it's bedtime. So there you have a retired civil servant right here. So what you have seen onto the wall, ladies and gentlemen, that's how the people of the British Virgin Islands used to get around, made their living, and enjoy themselves many years gone by. The King Army community you're looking at right there. Yes. Yes. Oh, here's another one. <laughs> 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 It's a small fishing village we have right here on the north side. That's the Carrot Bay we have below us. Oh, 
we're down at water level in this little town. Some of these houses haven't been fixed up since the hurricanes. My and most have lots of brightly colored houses. These are graves just right along the road in um, front of these guys' houses. Another hairpin turn. This is the Caribbean. Over there is the U.S. Virgin Islands, and we're in the British Virgin Islands. Well, that was the land portion of our cruise today, or our activity. Now we're going to look around from on the water. Nice marina here. Pulling away from the dock. All right, before we get poured up, my name is Baptiste. I'll be yours truly. Then we hear as stated by Captain Elvis. No photos, it's not Elvis Presley. <laughs> we have a ship with propellers on it. Yeah. Norman Island. Known for the tree on the water cave, which is great for snorkeling. As you guys could see, one, two, three. If you guys do come back here and you ever go snorkeling, and you go through those cave and you find anything, remember, I'm treasury, all right? <laughs> nice snorkeling. We can get some food from the boat and attract the fish, but we aren't going to be in the water. Right. As we Man's come around, Island. still on the right, we have Peter Island. 70% of Peter Island is leased by an American corporation by the name of Amway out of Michigan. On that island, ladies and gentlemen, is a five-star resort, as you can see which is called Peter Island Resort, which is owned yeah. by the same corporation. Peter Island to get food because all the rum on whatever left with them on Dead Man's chest, they swim, the passage here, they and they all drowned and washed up ashore. That's how the beach called Dead Man's Bay. There's our little ship next to a different celebrity than we saw yesterday, but you can see the size difference. This ship was here when we docked this morning so they're leaving ahead of us not by much we're scheduled out of here in five minutes but here we are after the celebrity as ascend left and we now have a view here is road town tortola